yes, Pandeus mean exactly when we claim that Pandeism fully accounts? Well, we mean that Pandeism is meticulous as to the miraculous and provides profundity as to prophecy, that it is a vision as to oracles and an absolutely evolutionary revolution in revelation. To give the quick summation, the theological model of Pandeism combines the coherently reconcilable elements of pantheism with deism, attempting to answer open questions left by each with aspects of the other, concluding that experience demonstrates elements of both are likely correct, that our creator did set forth our universe, but that it didn't leave it, but instead completely became the energy of which all things are made, and the unconscious governing dynamics by which all things are able to operate. The pantheistic model accounts for the state of our universe with the fewest assumptions required of any theological model. Derivable from first principles, the whole set of assumptions necessary for pandeism is that our creator necessarily possesses these four characteristics. First, sufficient power to set forth the forces of which our universe is composed. Second, sufficient intelligence to set forth the governing dynamics guiding those forces into the states which we observe. Third, rationality, for ours is a rational universe, consistent in the application of those governing dynamics. And fourth, a rational motivation to create such a universe as ours. In this way, pandeism fully accounts for every claimed miracle revelation, scripture prophecy, vision, dream, oracle, sign, egregore, spiritual activity, spiritual motion, and it does so for all faiths. For if any of these occur at all, then they are simply explicable as manifestations of the power of our Creator unconsciously underlying our universe as unwittingly misread through the biased minds of human observers. Imagine for a moment, if you were able to travel back in time to a much earlier point in human history, and were there able to show a select handful of pre-civilization homo sapiens perhaps a ten-minute bit of vital images which accurately laid out the history of our universe and our planet only to that point. Understanding that you would not be able to communicate anything with them verbally for lack of a common language, how do you imagine they would interpret what they saw? The Big Bang, the expansion of the universe, the massive cycles of star birth and star death necessary to generate heavy elements which permit the existence of our world at all, the violent geological activities, periods of evolution, the strange eras of prehistoric beasts which necessarily preceded human existence, even the seemingly sudden leaps of human technology, from nothing to the lever, the wheel, the inclined plane, fire, axes, and such. If the primitives with whom you shared these images then felt the need to relay that vision to others using what limited language and symbology was available to them, were they not couch it as a series of miracles, creditable to the intervention of an inscrutable metaphysical force such as a deity? And yet, if our Creator became our universe, if we are of our Creator in this fragmentary sense, wafting in the winds of an unconscious sustainment despite our illusion of concreteness, then all our religious visions represent such manifestations, glimpses of the commonalities well known within the unconscious mind of the metaphysical progenitor of which we are so stunningly a part.